hello all welcome to the video tutorial on how to open different windows using combo box so actually i have received a request from one of the user so we will cover both the methods one is by using command and the second is touch put touch post button show window and hide window option so let's begin so it is very important to understand that in actual application mm -hmm. there are multiple elements are covered like uh, animation windows control uh, historical trends the printing option alarms so it is not possible to fit each and everything on single one window so definitely we will need to use multiple windows so it is uh, it depends how we are de developing our application so this combo box function will be more appropriate and we can also use the button push button show window and hide window option so let's begin first let me take new windows let me create different new windows uh, there are three option window type replace overlay and pop-up so I am just keeping replace option and we will see it later what is the difference between these three uh, replace type will replace the window that means it will hide the current window and open the next window that we have requested okay and overlay means it will open another window and keep the previous window as it is it is very simple another window which is window 1 and window 2 and third window window 3 I am just changing the type overlay for window 3 ok perfect now let's move to home window I am just adding combo box on the windows control combo box no. I am changing the name as combo box 1 and drop down list ok and now I am adding the list of the window to on show window script so it will basically add the list of our available windows so wc insert item in bracket combo box 1 which is the name of our combo box 1 2 3 will be the index of the list and window 1 window 2 window 3 so this window 1 2 and window 3 will be listed in this combo box ok so as you can see we have the list of the different windows you can it is up to you and the requirement of your software your application now let me add the button to actually open the window substitute the string as one okay so I am adding the action script in touch push touch push button so I have just added the code 
for the combo box and the codes are already discussed in previous tutorials so let's just highlight get property i in double inverted combo box one which is our actual combo box name dot list index uh, list index will actually identify the number the item number which we have selected in the drop down and cb index will actually identify the number and store the number in it uh, later on we need to define that tag cb index okay so let's go through the code if cb index equal to 1 then show window 1 so this is the our code show in double inverted window name the window name should be exactly the same that we have created okay so this is very simple so if cb index equal to 1 then show window 1 it will open the window 1 if the cb index equal to 2 then it will open window 2 and if cb index equal to 3 it will open the window 3 this is very simple now just i am adding the name To understand the difference, to identify the window easily. okay so let's just check so i am selecting window 1 and open so it will open the window 1 okay simple so we have not uh, currently added the commands or button any action to close this window and move back to our first window so let's do that So we have opened this window using a radio button. Now let's see how we can open the other window using button. Uh, let's add the button to move to home screen. I'm just defining the name home window okay. okay so double click and at the bottom in touch push there is the option show window select that and it is asking us which window do you want to open by clicking this button so i would like to say home okay so it will open the home window okay in window 2 I am just using different approach. I will use the script option. So, home window. Sorry, double click in action script. Let's just remove. Let me add. Show home. It will open the home window. Okay. And 
you can definitely uh, this is a, a switch type window so it will automatically replace by the home window so need no need to add hide current window okay hide self okay. so sorry semicolon okay and let me go to the third window so this is something different because let's see the properties of window is overlay so what will happen the window 3 will overlay it will not replace the home window okay so at the end we need to close this window so let me add the button to close this window window 3 okay let me add string close okay. and action will be hide uh, there is two option uh, we can also define the hide window name means which is window 3 and there is another option which is close self okay so any of you can hide same sorry hide self so both of both these option are same okay hide self means it is it will close this window 3 the self means the current window okay so let's just use hide window 3 both option will be same okay let me move to home window and let's just check so let's open first window yeah okay so let's move back to our home window okay now window 2 so yeah moving to home window and window 3 now see carefully window 3 board was overlay so home window is already open and window 3 is reflected so now we have added the close function so it will close the window 3 only okay so i think this is very simple if you have any doubts so definitely you can ask me in the comment box so thank you